Hello everyone, and welcome to a tutorial on how to load and segment a set of data using 3D Slicer. The next four images show the process of segmentation and the final result, even after for 3D printing. For those of you who don't have Slicer, go to slicer.org and click on download. There you will find a choice of stable release or nightly build. I am using the Mac OS X nightly build, but you are also able to download it for your Windows or Linux computer. After opening Slicer, go to download sample data, which is what I will be using. But you can also load your own DICOM data by clicking here. Next, go down to the CTA Cardio scan to begin loading the data set onto 3D Slicer. Once the slices load, you can change the contrast and brightness of them by left-clicking your mouse and dragging it up and down. Above, use the bar or your arrow keys to view each slice individually. In the layout, you can observe the different viewpoints of the vertebrae. In the red box, the yellow box, and the green box. The red represents the axial view, the yellow represents the sagittal view, and the green represents the coronal view. Go to the volume rendering module, which lets us visualize our slices in 3D. Click on the eye to see the structure in 3D. By scrolling with your mouse, you can zoom in and out, as well as clicking and holding to structure to rotate it. Presets like the CTAA2 for bones allow you to view your structure in a different format. Next, click on the ROI to display the region of interest. This will crop the image to the specific vertebrae you need to segment. Zoom in and out as needed to locate the vertebrae, making sure that the vertebrae fits inside the ROI box. Once you've made sure that the correct vertebrae is displayed inside the ROI, search for the Crop Volume module and select the voxel-based cropping to get a clear image. Once the image is cropped, fix the contrast and brightness as needed so that the vertebrae is more visible. You can then go back to Volume Rendering module to get rid of the ROI box. Next, go to the Segmentation module and choose Editor. This is the main module which allows you to manually segment the data you have chosen. In the 3D viewer, click on the rightmost selection to center the 3D view of the scene. Zoom in and middle click to drag the structure to the center. Rotate the structure as needed to view all of its facets. This visualization will give you an idea as to what your segmentation should look like when it's finished. On the left is the toolbar which holds the many tools you can use to segment the vertebrae, and on the top is the main toolbar which holds frequently used modules such as the layout module which changes the layout of your screen. On the right is the crosshair and intersection module. Click on the slice intersections to show where each slice intersects in the different orientations. Hold down the shift key and drag your mouse to any point on the slice to show where that point is. In the editor's toolbar, click on the threshold tool which allows, through a chosen threshold, to segment all the slices at once. Choose the best threshold that applies to your segmentation, then edit it using the other tools in the toolbar. Tools like the level tracing effect, the rectangle effect, and the paint effect work most efficiently. To start the editing, use the save island effect to get rid of anything segmented that isn't directly connected to what you click on. Then using the paint effect, you can select the sphere shape which uses the segmentation you've done and applies it to other slices above and below it. The sphere's radius can be changed to segment more precisely. By clicking on one of the tools and the eraser, any part of what you segmented can be erased manually. I mainly use the paint effect to get rid of any segmentation that I didn't need. 
but you are welcome to use any other tools that would work more efficiently. For the rest of the vertebrae, it is easiest to look at a reference photo like this one to clearly understand the spine's anatomy and orient yourself when segmenting. I will link the reference photo I used in the description bar below. Continue to reference the atlas picture of a lumbar vertebrae, as well as the 3D structure as you segment the vertebrae for more accuracy. However, keep in mind that this tutorial's purpose is to show the capabilities of the slicer modules, so it may not be 100% accurate.
Once finished with the segmentation, click on the bar above the axial viewer to link all the viewers together. Click on the outliner to show your segmentation as an outline. You can use this while segmenting or use it after to make any finishing edits. On the left hand toolbar, select the per structure volume bar to extend its features. Select the split merge volume, then merge and build to construct your final model. Go back to the volume rendering module to turn off the preset used for visualization. Then you can view your own 3D structure. By clicking and dragging your mouse, you can rotate it to see it from all sides, or hold right click and drag in to zoom and zoom out. Using the axial toolbar, click on the eye to toggle slice visibility. Moving through the slices, the 3D viewer shows where they are oriented in your structure. Then go back to the axial viewer to turn off the slice visibility. After finishing, you can take a screenshot of your work as a PNG file, rename it, and save it to your computer. To save a scene, go to File, Save, and check off each NRD file as well as the MMRL scene and your PNG screenshot. Save them to any destination on your computer, then close your scene. If you want to learn more or if you have any questions, be sure to check out Slicer's Wiki, which will be linked in the description box below. There you'll find any information you need to continue learning about how to use Slicer. Thanks for watching and see you soon.